Amish County, where investigators say three men broke into a home in Everett and killed a mom her, while her husband and child were in a room nearby. The killers are still on the loose. Yeah, just terrifying. All day, Snohomish County Sheriff deputies investigating the scene located in a neighborhood on 96th Street Southeast, about a half a mile away from Eisenhower Middle School to give you some perspective of where that is. Fox 13 News reporter A.J. Janival was at the scene speaking to neighbors about this disturbing crime. Peaceful. In the summertime, people are usually walking their dog. Kids are playing at the park or up at the school, just enjoying themselves. Not Friday. This street is anything but peaceful. Snohomish County Sheriff's deputies say around 3 in the morning, three men wearing masks or other face coverings broke through the door of a family's home on 96th Street Southeast. Inside, a mom, a father, and their child, who investigators say is under 10 years old. Deputies say the men shot and killed the mom, a woman in her 30s. Then the suspects escaped. It is terrifying, and we definitely hope we can identify these folks. Investigators say the father got out of the home, making it to a neighbor who called 911. Deputies arrived on scene within minutes and had search dogs hunting for evidence, but the attackers got away. Courtney O'Keefe with the Snohomish County Sheriff's Office tells me investigators do not know why this deadly shooting happened. Now, officials are working to find answers, going door to door looking for surveillance video from neighbors that might help explain this violence. But one thing O'Keefe says is a tragedy like this should never happen. It's been very difficult to see the family members arrive on scene here. Um, it's a devastating day for everyone involved, including neighbors and everyone in this community. Neighbors say this sort of violence so close to their homes is unacceptable. Listening to all this stuff and then a murder right here. I mean, come on, that's that's not okay, especially with a child in the house. I mean, what were these punks thinking? Oh, that was A.J. Janival reporting. Investigators say there have been three home invasions in this area just this year. However, this is the only one where the family was home and led to such a tragic end. Deputies are looking for answers, but as of right now, there is not much on the suspects. Authorities are asking anyone with information to contact them.